what is up you guys and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Mackenzie I'm an artist mostly a stained glass artist and if you're not new thanks for coming back so as you can see I am currently driving to the glass store so because my hopefully that music isn't too loud because my glass trip earlier this week to the smaller glass store that I go to was so unfruitful What's up you guys? Just wanted to pop in here really quick as a little reminder that this video was filmed weeks ago. So this video was filmed a couple days after I had gone to my last glass trip store video. So if you haven't seen that, that'll be linked down below. But this was filmed a couple days after that and this was filmed before my office redo. So if you see my old office or anything like that, that's why this was filmed a couple weeks before I did my office. Okay, back to the video. I have to go again. So. I do shop restocks every two weeks, technically making my next week my off week. And what I mean by that is that will be the week that I prepare for my next week's stock, prep, figure out what I'm going to be putting into it, gather all the items if I need to, but I'm also wanting to redo my office. So I'm gonna try to get that done next week. So I figured no better time than now to get out to the good glass store and get some bomb ass iridescent glass. So. I've been kind of going back and forth in touch with the owner of Toy Town where we're going today all week just to make sure that she has what I'm looking for because I don't want to make another fucking glass trip and not get any iridescent. So she's got pretty much everything I'm looking for, just one color that she doesn't have that I bought last time, but I still have some of that one color left, so it works out perfectly. So I'm really hoping to get my hands on some good ripple iridescent today. I think she said she had new Wismac. She wanted to show me that was iridescent, but regardless, that's where we're going. If you want to see another trip to the glass store, let's go. Okay guys, we are finally getting close, 45 minutes later. At least this time went by really quick and I got to stop at Dunkin's and this is the first time I've had a Dunkin's coffee since Corona started. So, I'm pumped about that. I love this little bridge. Everything's starting to look familiar, we're so close. I'm so excited you guys, oh my God. I'm so glad I found this store and I had originally gone out here however long we went a couple months ago because without this store I would be screwed right now so we're a couple minutes away I'm gonna go inside and say hi before I start filming and show you guys what we're looking at all right so you guys have already missed quite a few that I've picked out because she wanted to show me these larger sheets right away like these big big ones that they have back here you guys are gonna die when you see them. They're all stunning. And look what's right there. So beautiful, that nice blue aqua ripple color. So let's see, look. This is everything we've already picked out and these are the big boy sheets. So I'm either getting half or fulls of all of those. So pretty. The best stained glass store around, it really is. All right, now I'm gonna try to look through these buckets because you guys loved that white iridescent. And I wanna see if I can find some more, if anybody left any for me. Oh, we got some of these ones. You guys like these too, it's that very light pale white, like off white, but it's got that crazy iridescent to it. That is so beautiful. Look how weird my hands look without nails on them, you guys. Ugh, I can't stand that. As soon as I get home, we're putting nails back on. All right, and I think there's more white. I can't remember what I've got. I wanted to show you guys this too. Look at it, it's like sunflowers. Can you see that? Like little tiny sunflowers and it's clear iridescent. How cool is that? 
It's called Champagne Cathedral. That is beautiful. All right. Right, so I know you guys loved seeing this last time, so I'm going to give you a closer look at all of their beautiful work. The entire ceiling and walls, she's got different types of hanging systems. This is what inspired me for my office. So you guys will see as I'm doing it next week where the inspiration came from for that all these beautiful ladders, it's just so cool. And I didn't know this, but she's actually using a pot holder too. Like, genius. Look at it all. That black and white dragonfly. Fuse stuff is so cool. It's all so pretty. I could just look around all day in here. Look at it, like so pretty. Those, those are so cool. You guys would love that. Oh, the angels. Okay, where were we? I just found more black! Yay! Yay! All right. Oh my gosh! Woohoo! Nice! Look at it! Oh yes! Cool! Alright, got some of that sunflower. And I think we can just take one more spin around, see if I want some normal glass. Oh, that, um Found some, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I needed it so badly. <sighs> it's relieving. This is going to be tricky because it's like roly poly. Look at I think this might be like my all time favorite. That ripple texture is so cool. Oh, yes. I know I still have flux remover, still got flux itself from last time, somehow. Look at, how cool does that look? Just that on its own. So pretty. Even from this way with the cathedrals. Ooh. These two, these are so cool, you guys. What do you want on this one? The blue ripple? Yeah. Whole thing, please. Whole thing? Yeah, I didn't know where to put it. So I you want me to cut in half for you? Or sure, yeah. To make it easier for you? Yes, please. Oh, whoa, look at that. What the heck? Holy guacamole. My camera won't even focus on that. It is so reflective. There it is. Look at that, you guys. Wow. That is stunning. I know some of you guys would love a charmed body in that. All right, guys, look at this. I'm so excited. I could scream. Look at that. I got a lot of blue today. Usually I don't get that much blue. Get your red and your um, 
Red, I'm good on. Red, I still have so much left from last time. I got okay. a butt ton of it. Okay, that. little spin through here. Look. Oh, there's more of that Van Gogh sparkle in all different colors. So cool. Looks like straight up copper. Need Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up. Oh, there it is. So pretty. Have to get cut up? Like actual icicles. Okay, you guys. We're done shopping. Oh my god. Hopefully the AC isn't in you guys' ear, but that is hands down the most amount of money I have ever spent, but in the same token, I've gotten the most beautiful glass I've ever had. So I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of beautiful, beautiful glass. And I've got a lot of it too. All right, I think I've got everything. Time to go back home and then once we get back home, oh, you're blurry. Think that's better sorry if you guys are blurry all right like i said tons and tons of glass now we got an hour drive home once we get home we'll go over everything we got okay bye okay we're home that was a long day. I was literally gonna try to make it as quick as I could because I have so much work to do, but it's 3.20 and per usual got not stuck talking to Debbie, but we talked for a while and I can't help it. I love talking to her so much. But as always guys, Toy Town stained glass was amazing. This is the second time I've ever been and immediately feels like home. Debbie, the owner is so, so helpful, so knowledgeable and just, She's wonderful. If you guys are in Massachusetts or you're even anywhere near Massachusetts, it's worth the trip to go, especially if you don't have a stained glass store like this nearby. The prices are amazing, the selection is amazing, and like I said, her knowledge is invaluable to me. I don't have a stained glass mentor, I'm self-taught, so somebody like her in my life is, is monumental, and I cherish that relationship. So Debbie, if you're watching this, Thank you so much. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for your constant words of wisdom and support. I appreciate you. Okay, so let's get into the glass. I spent double what I normally spend in a glass trip, but in the same token, I've gotten the most beautiful glass I've ever had hands down. So with that comes the most priciest glass I've ever gotten hands down. So this is gonna take a while. Let's get into it. I don't even know where to start. I got so much glass. Well, I guess we'll start here because you guys love this glass. And when I say you guys, I mean everybody from my Instagram, my actual customers that buy my stained glass work. The Blue Ripple. The classic Blue Ripple iridescent. I love this stuff so much. I wish it came in every single color because I would buy it in every single color. I love it. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, this glass is kind of tricky to find now. Oh geez, I need to not talk about every piece of glass like this because we're gonna be here all day. Okay, so I got Blue Ripple, I got a couple pieces of it. They just cut it in half for me. So it's a bit easier to handle instead of a big sheet. All right, number two, dark blue water glass. This is dark blue iridized. I do believe this is Spectrum. So non-existent. And it is a beautiful oil slick type iridescent on a royal blue water glass. Again, that water glass, it's something about water glass just reflects the light fucking beautifully. 
All right, this next one, I could scream at the top of my lungs. It is so beautiful. I don't wanna blow your ears out, so I won't do that. But prepare yourselves. I got the original black based rainbow iridescent. What did I call this? I called it like houndstooth or something. When I first started, I got my hands on a tiny section of this and I bought everything she had. I do believe I bought everything she had of this version because I love it. You cannot beat that. That is absolutely stunning. Again, extremely expensive, but worth every penny because it's beautiful. Expensive, but stunning. Like, oh my God, just the very tips of this have oil slick. You see that? So beautiful, such a stunning texture. Camera just will never do that justice. There's oil slick over this entire thing. So everywhere where it kind of loops down, there's oil slick iridescent in there, just like right here. So stunning. I have to say, this is one of my all time favorite. So Bozai makes this. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's a royal purple based. Can you see that? I'm gonna have to hold this up to the window because it is so dark, but this is royal purple. You can see through this one. It's not black based. Look at that, you guys. Do you know how hard it is to find purple iridescent glass? Never mind this stunning royal purple and on top of that it's this bullseye iridescent like it this is it does not get any better than this this is my favorite piece i think i got today and of course here is a classic spectrum iridescent this is gray iridescent which i absolutely love you can see the beautiful iridescent down here so pretty. Great, this used to be one of my all time favorite glasses. I used to love this so much when I was really, really spectrum obsessed. All right, this one is blue based. So again, this is bullseye, that same beautiful high shine iridescent, but this one is a royal blue. Look at that, you guys. That is stunning. It just, it's, this is quality. Quality glass. So, so, so beautiful. All right, we'll stick this one with its sister. This is the same thing. This is that blue purple based bullseye. I just got more of it. These are pretty good size sheets. Again, they cut them in half for me to handle them a lot easier. Yeah, it's blue cathedral iridescent and it's fusible. Of course, fusible means AKA more expensive, especially considering the fact that I don't fuse, but hey, I'll take it love it and use it just the same where'd my scissors go extremely unique this is bullseye you cannot see through it at all and it's like a metallic so it's just a metallic and it's got that stripe going through the middle super super unique so i wanted a little bit of this special production glass i'll always want Okay, where was I? I? Had to shut the water or the sprinkler off. We got some new sod in the back. <gasps> That's right, I forgot about this one. Oh my God, you guys. I got this one. I cannot even believe this. So this is called Van Gogh and it's a Van Gogh red sparkle. And I got a 12 by 12 of it. Look at that. Is that not the most beautiful glass you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, I can't even handle it. <laughs> I 
I'm so excited. I love glass so much. But. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this one when I found it. So what is this one called? Iridized Clear Dewdrop. That's right. So this is that beautiful high shine iridescent that I love so much. And it is a clear dewdrop. So here's the texture a bit better. Very, very textured. Alright, that's enough of that. Not, not a musician. It isn't a glass strip. If I don't get me some white spectrum rainbow iridescent. How can I get this on camera? There we go. So beautiful pastel and bright pastel iridescent rainbow on a white base, a white wispy base, because you can kind of see through it a little bit, so I like to call those wispy. Love white spectrum. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know if it's glass artists watching too, but every time I hold up a spectrum, it's a very smooth, um, untextured looking glass, like the water glasses spectrum, the one that reflects a lot of light, or that white one, or the gray rainbow iridescent that used to be my favorite. That's why they used to be my favorite because for me, starting out, they were easiest to work with. So having no texture on them, I absolutely loved that. They were very uh, uniform in their texture and color and iridescent, so I was obsessed with it. But now I'm so much more open to different kinds of iridescent like this. I absolutely love this now. Now I almost love it even more, which is so strange. I remember when I first found out about Spectrum not even making iridescent glass anymore, I was devastated. Should we go through these small ones or should we keep going through the big ones first? Let's knock out a couple of these small piles. So this luminescent glass is that same idea of the iridescent, but it's that super high shine. So, so, so pretty. And it's yellow, it's like a golden yellow base. Another little square of that. Got it in purple. How beautiful is that? I wish he had a ton of these. I would have bought a ton of them. So I got two of the purple as well. All right, still working on these small expensive squares. This is a high fired black sparkle. I don't know who makes this. I'm assuming Spectrum because of the texture, but this is black based rainbow iridescent. Very small square of this. This one is high fire grape. It is Spectrum. Again, eight by eight extremely beautiful so it's that very royal purple base with a beautiful high shine rainbow iridescent and i did get two of those and i got one in light blue with the luminescent so what she had done she had gotten um a few pieces of glass in she had bought in bulk from somebody that was getting rid of some, so she had put all the iridescent ones to the side, black based. So I've got quite a few smaller pieces of these random scraps like this. So we'll go through these really quickly. This is maroon rainbow iridescent, which I have a lot of, so this can just go right to the side. I got one piece of the white abalone. That's all that was there. This is gonna be really tricky to show you guys. Okay, so this is rainbow too, but it's on that nice, very see-through yellow. Just this tiny piece of glass was $15. Yikes. I don't know what that is. Has anybody ever seen that on a piece of glass? Do you see all these nubs? If anyone's ever seen that, leave that in the comments down below. What is that? I don't know. All right, so this light, teal color rainbow iridescent it's that same pretty teal base cool that one's really neat looking now this again when i first started making stained glass i used to get this color frequently and you guys loved it but i found whenever i did get it i did not like the specific iridescent pattern within it and i found a huge sheet of just my kind of iridescent. So it's that light blue spectrum wispy glass and it's got this stunning rainbow iridescent I'm always looking for. I'm so excited to bring this back out again. This is stunning. 
truly stunning, beautiful glass. Now this is a green I've never had before. So this one is Emerald Coast and it's got a stunning iridescent to it. So it almost has the texture, it does have the texture of the abalone glass that I work with all the time or that I name all those pieces, but it's a beautiful emerald green. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? It's like an oil slick. So I got a huge sheet of this, which means I got one of these and another one of these. And here's the second piece. All right, I think that was the last, yep, that was the last big pile. We've got two small pies left and we're done. All right, so here's this nice off-white, yellow, golden yellow, high shine iridescent. I got, I think a couple small pieces like this, if I'm remembering correctly. One in teal, same high shine iridescent. Yep, here's another one of the tan. Oh, and one more of the tan. So cool looking. Just such unique looking glass. Cannot wait. So I got a couple pieces of this. Remember, I was showing you at the glass store. Here's the back, it's easier to see the texture. It looks just like little sunflowers. So this is called Champagne Cathedral. They look like little sunbursts almost, or sunflowers or something, fireworks. And it's got that beautiful, bright, bright iridescent. So I got a couple pieces of that. There's another one. Same sunflower texture, so I got a couple of those. Yep, this is the last one. Another one of the sunflower iridescent, or the champagne, sorry, I should call it by its real name, Champagne Cathedral. So, so beautiful. Okay guys, so I think that's it. So much glass, like I said, besides the pile she had put to the side for me for a set price. I don't want to show you guys that since it's all discontinued glass or really hard to find. So we won't even get into that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to check out my stained glass work and my stained glass business, that will be linked down below too. Please, if you're in Massachusetts or even if you're not, go online, check them out. Toy Town Stained Glass, they're in Winchington. Let me double check that. Yes, they are in Winchington, Massachusetts. It is worth the trip. If you're just a couple hours away, one hour, two hours, I would still go. It is absolutely worth it. Debbie's amazing. And again, Debbie, for watching this, thank you so much. I think that's it. Okay, so like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.